Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's performance here. We're redefining the data center, future ready storage. Craig McKenna, VP of Storage Ecosystem Sales, IBM Technology Worldwide is in London with Ben Williams at the watch party. Guys, thanks for coming on theCUBE here in Palo Alto, California, across the pond and across the country. Indeed, across the pond. And thank you very much for having us, John. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm just mentioned, I'm joined here by Ben Williams uh, from Chile IT, one of our fantastic business partners here in the UK. Um, part of a, a fairly extended watch party, which we'll cross to in a minute. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm comically named, the room we're in is actually called the Cube. <laughs> All, All right. right, way to go. Cube's going global. All right, well, let's get into the cyber resilience. Big part of the story here. What's the feedback been there? Uh, give us a little taste of what the reaction's been and what's some of the commentary. Well, I mean, we, we actually got put, pulled Ben in because uh, Ben's actually been a part of Chile IT have actually built a cyber resiliency solution some time ago, actually based on IBM storage. So you can tell us a little bit about that, solu that solution and how we're now enhancing that with some of the more recent announcements. Yeah, sure. So um, as Craig said, yeah, we've got a professional service uh, called Copy Sure. What we do is um, build around a safeguarded copy function. I am delivering my customers an automated service. So what I want to do is I want to take the responsibility away from them from having to take these copies and test these copies. So I monitor for a copy to be taken. I then boot that copy into a clean room and then I perform test and verification over the copy and then flag it as either a pass or a fail. So what I'm then giving my customers is recovery assurance. And with the safeguard a copy function, it's, it's fantastic. My customers can look back. If an event happens, we know exactly which copies of data we can return to and we'll boot them up and bring them back in that clean room. And so pretty, what's the performance like on that, on, on that performance? Piece. Yeah, I mean, the performance, it, there's two things to this because what we do is we specialize in IBM I. So the performance of the actual flash copy itself, that's almost immediate. So when I want to use that copied volume, it's there and it's ready to go. I've then got to wait for the OS to boot, but typically what we're seeing is around about 20 minutes from start to finish for me to have a system back up and running. We're taking copies around about every hour. So within 20 minutes, I've got up to an hour's worth of data loss, if you like, and that's where we are and it, today. Yeah, and exactly is today, and this is what I heard a little bit earlier. So what is what, is what we announced in February, right? Flash core modules yeah. for yeah. real-time data corruption detection. Now, what is that allowing you to do with Copy Assure? So the challenge for us now is FCM4. So we're putting all this data up into the cloud and we're going to monitor the, the, we're going to use AI and we're going to identify when corruption happens. Now, what that gives us the ability to do is we can timestamp that corruption. So if I look at that now, the challenge for us, and we're being challenged by customers today to deliver this, is when I recover them to the known good copy, because I've been doing all that recovery and test and verification, then I've got a timestamp of when corruption happened. Can I now play transactions forward so I recover and also minimize data loss? And that's where we're going to go next with our, with our professional service. And Ben, you got to love the performance there. You got to love the capabilities. How's the flexibility on the consumption? What do you think about all the all the hubbub around all this awesome automation and also the, the way you can purchase the, the products? Yeah, so we were talking about this before as well. So yeah, changing the way we purchase it is something that is going to be really, really good for us. And it's an opportunity for me to talk to customers I think I said it before to, to Craig and also another Craig, Craig Cannon in um, distribution. Lots of Craig's. Um, the, the storage I put on the floor today is not the storage that's going to run your business in three or four years time. You need to adapt, you need to update. Now, if I talk to a techie, he's all in, he's on board, he wants to do that. If I talk to procurement, they want to sweat the asset for five, six, seven years. If I can get them both into the same conversation where procurement are happy because we've got this long-term piece of, of, of purchase price, the life cycle management, if you like, and then I've got the techies happy because they're always going to be updated, supported OSs, latest versions of hardware. It's a win-win situation for the customers. Storage for life and everyone's happy. Craig, this is like a like yeah. a perfect scenario. Everyone, procurement's happy and the developers, they just want pool of resource. Give me some resource. So distract with all that complexity. And with the 5300, I think the one, one of the things that sets IBM apart, I think, is we're actually doing this for enterprises of all sizes. Uh, so we don't just start at the mid-tier and go up. We, we go all the way down to a you know, relatively modest business, uh, you know, starting at $10,000, $15,000 for a 5300. It's extraordinary. Ben, congratulations, and uh, taking advantage of all the success and it's impacting your business. Appreciate you guys for coming on. Craig, thank you so much for weighing in.